In this video, I will tell you why the number of your annotation matters and how to adjust for the class imbalance problem in medical data sets with the number of your annotations that you're doing for deep learning image analysis projects. Hi, I'm Alexandra Zhurev and I'm here to help you do better digital pathology. This video is a part of a webinar I co-hosted with Aphoria. Aphoria is an image analysis company that uses artificial intelligence for image analysis. And the full webinar is packed with tips and tricks for annotations for deep learning. I'm going to leave the link in the description below. But now let's dive into why the number of annotations matters and how to avoid the trap of class imbalance in medical data sets. So at the beginning of my annotation career for deep learning, I would go in and uh, look at the slide and just annotate uh, whatever I saw in the slide in the proportions I saw in the slide. I didn't even ask myself the question how many annotations I need. I would look at the slide and annotate what I saw there, right? So in this case, this is a blood smear from a, a patient that is infected with malaria. These are plasmodium. Those little dots in the red blood cells are uh, plasmodium malaria parasites. So in this case, I would go in, annotate plenty of normal red blood cells, a couple of those infected and even less white blood cells because they're less, right? And I. I didn't even think about it. I would just do it. And the thing I was not aware of is that this is not how it works for deep learning. In deep learning, there is, well, in general, in medical data sets, we have the problem that is called class imbalance. What does that mean? That most of the things we are looking at, at the, in images, in this particular image, would be normal. There's a lot more normal than abnormal. And this counts for populations. When we are comparing disease to healthy, there's more healthy individuals than diseased. This counts for radiology images. This counts on different levels. Basically, in medicine, the data sets, there is no uh, even distribution in data sets. So this is called class imbalance, as I already mentioned. So here we have this red fish. If we're looking for red fish and there is so many more other fish, we have to mitigate this problem, this class imbalance. And there are different ways to mitigate it, but because our webinar is about annotations, we're going to tackle how we can do this with annotations. And for supervised deep learning, this is our ground truth. So basically what we feed into the system, this is the quality we're going to have. And we have to take care of all the problems. So one way we can take care of this is what is so-called oversampling of the minority class. Means I go in and I find the minority class, which would be in the case of our example, the infected red blood cells, and I annotate more of it than I actually see in my field of view. I go actively look for these. And what I do then, I kind of match the number of annotations that I did for the minority class with the annotations of the majority class. In this case, that would be the normal red blood cells. And uh, obviously we have to take care to annotate all the appearances of the normals as well, because they don't look all the same and all the appearances of the abnormal ones. But basically, I do not do it proportionally. I do not do it proportionally to what I see in the image because uh, the neural net has to see enough examples of all the classes. And if we over provide it with one type of examples, it's going to focus more on this. And there are different ways to mitigate this. And Lindsay is going to touch on some of them. They are on the back end of developing the um, deep learning model, but annotations is what we can do up front. I have a couple of other videos about annotations, tips and tricks, and I'm going to link to them in the cards. And if you want to see the full webinar with everything, including the demonstration of the Aphoria platform, be sure to click the link below in the description. And I hope to see you there soon.